What is up guys? It is Tony here and today we are taking a look at another uh, game on the M1 MacBook Air, the 7 core base 999 model, um, 8 gigs of RAM, all that good stuff. Uh, this is Dawn of Man. Um, it's actually a game I've been playing quite a bit that actually seems to uh, tax the machine a little bit, but seems to be play pretty playable with these settings right here. So what I'm rocking as far as settings is 2048 by 1280. Um, turned off anti-aliasing because it really doesn't do much in this game. And I got the quality to medium. Um, if I turn it up to high or ultra, uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, it does drop frames too much, so it's not exactly going to play this game brilliantly, but boy does it play it um, once you get it optimized in terms of settings. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun to play it on this little tiny MacBook Air. Thing doesn't even get hot. Thing, uh, the battery lasts like two to three hours while you're playing this game, which is really good for like an RTS type of game. Where there's a lot of different, there's a lot of AI, there's a lot of animals moving around the map. But uh, once you go drop down to Ultra, or drop, uh, move up to Ultra, the game does look a lot better. Um, but the frames are a little bit choppy. Let me zoom out a bit and show you, like, you can kind of tell when I spin that we're dropping frames quite a bit. Um, we're down in like the mid 20s, so <laughs> very unplayable. But, on the other hand, if we switch to medium, we get ourselves a much smoother uh, gameplay, as you can see as we spin around here. Um, getting like 30 plus FPS. So, for a 60 hertz display, you're really taking advantage of it to the most you can. Um, but it feels pretty responsive, honestly. Uh, with these settings, the game feels really snappy, really responsive. Um, and a lot of fun to play. It doesn't feel like the hardware gets in the way of the game. You could really just get into the game and enjoy it. Um, you know, build your little tribe here. So all around this game... Oh yeah, we're getting over 40 FPS right now with medium and anti-aliasing off. And as I said earlier, I mean, does it look bad? I mean, it looks pretty good still. Um, it's not really a game meant to be graphically impressive. It's mostly just, you know, to get the job done decent 3D models that just look good enough, you know, nothing too crazy. But there you go. Game is running nice and smooth. Go into the primal vision, just move around the map and watch all of the little elk and everything move around and you can hunt them. It's awesome. So if you haven't played this game, you really should check it out. I'm actually really getting into it. Uh, but there you go. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to be doing a couple more of these uh, gaming tests, these little benchmarks. Not really a benchmark, but these little tests. If you guys have any games that you guys would like to see that aren't in the playlist down below, go ahead and leave them down below and we'll give it a test. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.